Good morning and welcome to our worship today from wherever you find yourself. Perhaps you're joining us via live stream right now. Uh, perhaps you're watching this a little later in the week. It's really neat the way God continues to draw us together and bless us as a body even when we can't be in the exact same place at the exact same time. Uh, a few announcements for you. Uh, I just want to remind you, as I have before, you need to go to the Knox Oakville website and subscribe to the newsletter because that's where you're going to find all the juicy details of what's still happening, either around the building, the bricks and mortar, there's construction going on outside and downstairs and all around us. It's very noisy and exciting here throughout the week. You will also find in the newsletter all the links to the different events that take place throughout the week. So we'll have coffee hour after our worship today. That link was in the newsletter that went out this week. We also gather on Wednesday evenings for conversation. You might want to bring your dinner or something tasty to drink. And we talk about worship and we talk about the world and our lives. You'll also find information in there about signing up for grief share, or you could speak to Lynn Heminga, our chaplain, about that. And you'll find in there also the information about the Bible study that's happening right now, led by Reverend Linda Graham on the letter to the Philippians. So all sorts of really neat information. We're also working on developing uh, kudos to Monica and the group of Christian educators around our area who are working together to create a digital or virtual VBS for this summer. So there's information about that coming out. There'll be registration on Eventbrite. I do want to say uh, congratulations and well done to the people of God after our first successful communion over the internet last week. Uh, some of you shared pictures of the altars that you created in your home, uh, the bread and the juice or the wine, some flowers or a pitcher. Uh, it would be really neat to have a collection of all those and insert them in our worship later on. So if you could send a picture uh, to Gary or to the office here, uh, you can email it or however you do internet. See, and this is the part where I'm supposed to stop because I don't know what I'm talking about. But we'd love to see your pictures, so if you could send them, we will happily include them in our worship going forward. And uh, consider possibly the next time we'll have communion together in this really neat new way. That's it for announcements, because I know we're going to have a great pastoral update from Lynn Heminga. And so uh, let's continue with our worship together. Dear friends, in the midst of this pandemic, you amaze me. You are aware, you are connected, you are kind, you are considerate, you help each other, you're protecting others by wearing masks and distancing yourself. You are choosing to let the light of Christ shine through you in your small corner of the world. You are a blessing. So many have expressed gratitude for our online services. You are discovering God's richness in new and individual ways of worship. I am constantly surprised and encouraged with how our all-sufficient God continues to provide new ways for us to gather, to worship, and to draw closer to him. Someone shared this week how much they enjoyed Brian's organ preludes, recitals, as she called them, and the visuals at the Knox stained glass windows. The music and those familiar photos brought back wonderful, worshipful memories. She remembered the meaning and the stories behind the stained glass windows, all but one. But 30 years ago, she received from Knox when she joined a booklet on Knox's stained glass windows. And she said it was great to be able to read and to meditate on those windows once again from her own safe place. Many have appreciated the pictures and the photos of our church building and the updates on the new roads project. And we look forward to the completion of the renovations and how they will give us the ability to reach out to our community even more to provide a safe and nurturing place 
where God's unconditional love prevails. These kinds of enriching memories and encouraging meditations and sharing in worship together online keep us grounded in our service to God. There are times when it is not easy to stay grounded or to keep the mood up in the midst of troubled times. And we encourage you to continue practicing and staying in connected with your family, with us and your, your neighbors. Although good things are happening, the hard reality is very raw for some. Worries about finances and job security, isolation, depression, age and mobility concerns are real. And grieving the loss of a loved one without physical support of family and friends. Coping with pain, needing medical tests, recovering from surgery. My friends, prayer is powerful and a comforting tool that we use every day. Let's remember them. I encourage you to check out the newsletter for details on the many, many ways that you can connect with, connect with Knox online. When you are having trouble to keep the mood up in your home, reach out with a phone call and connect. The Knox prayer team continues to faithfully remember you in prayer. If you have special concerns, please email or call us. Let your candle shine, my friends. God bless.